I've always wondered, the Wiggler that, like, falls off the thing in Mission 2, is it supposed to be the same Wiggler as the Wiggler in Mission 3? Gelato Beach. Wiggler Ahoy! Full steam ahead! Because, like, it's the same color and everything. Maybe it's, like, related to the Wiggler that died. You are a brave man standing here. I'll protect the Dune Bud, you'll see! <laughs> Open the map. Okay, it's when I land the final hit. All right. Hardest part of this mission is the freaking Dune Bud hitbox. It's really tiny. Why are you two just standing here? Yeah, we'll be crushed. Then move. Then I'll calm down here, Mr. Caterpillar. We can talk this over nice and slow. have to attack this specific part. Uh-oh, it gets more angry. I like how it actually kicks up the dust, too. That's a nice attention to detail. It's gonna run out just as he gets here, isn't it? Sure is. I was about to say, there's no way he avoids that, right? Now's your chance. I'd... Why did you redeem that one? I'm not even getting angry. <laughs> what the? Wait, what? Is he supposed to do that? He just ran up up the mountain. I do not remember him doing that. Then why did you redeem when Artie gets salty? That don't make any sense. Wait, what the? Where did he go? This Wiggler's going crazy. I do not remember him doing this. Why did he run up the wall? Very confused. I've never seen him do this. There we go. Alright. Final hit. <laughs> That's interesting. Is this the glitching question? <laughs> yeah, the music goes crazy in this fight. Oh, if you open it up the first time, then it goes super slow, and then it goes... That's funny. 
that's cool. I wonder if I wonder if there's like an an OST track on YouTube where it's like the fast sped up version of that song. I do like that song a lot. The boss music is cool. And here we go. So the first I, f I consider the first three levels of Joe Auto to be pretty fun. The fourth one is absolute garbage. And of course we're gonna do it now because I don't want to save all the annoying stuff for later. Delfino. Toad, are you still freaking out that Princess Peach got kidnapped? That ha that happened like a week ago. Harbaugh! Is that the only thing you're gonna say, bro? Okay. Gelato Beach, Episode 4. The Sandbird is born. This level stinks! Sandbird hatched and destroyed the building. And they're like, that's okay. Hey, guess what? The Sandbird! It finally hatched! Don't bother looking for it, though. It flew off right away. If only it did. Also, when are we getting the rocket nozzle here? There's some blue coins that I need it for. Ooh. Here's something that's fun. Wait, oops. Messed that up, I jumped twice. <laughs> what the? Oh, doggone it, it wasn't all the way up. Mario Sunshine, could you have good physics for once in your life? Oh, I don't- I only get the speed boost up those stairs? I thought I got it all the way up here. That's dumb. Gotta go fast. Everyone's like, wow! There's nothing here. This kid keeps talking about jumping in that hole down there. It just isn't unsafe. It's impossible. Can you do it? Duh. With my pack. You know, I was pretty wild child back in my day. Even so, I find myself yelling at the kids to quiet down! Alright, welcome to one of the worst parts of the whole game. The Sandbird Stage. Mario, the legend. Wow, I have never died to the sandbird that fast before. Why did I slide down off of a solid platform? That's not even the hard part of the stage. So the sandbird is flapping. The hard part is eventually it turns sideways. Thankfully, we only have to do this stage once. Oh no, I forgot about the blue coins here as well. Well, if you want to get the blue coins, you literally have to sacrifice yourself. There's no getting back up. This is legendary for the wrong reasons. Why is everybody obsessed with, like, a Lego bird? They're all like, oh my gosh, the sandbird! This is the coolest thing ever! It's like, bro, I made something cooler for my library's Lego building competition. And I wasn't even that good at Legos. And because the bird is constantly moving, if you if you at any point you get off the bird, you're not getting back on. Mario. 
The fact that the bird is moving really messes things up. I believe the sandbird is turning sideways now. He is doing this just to be a dip, by the way. I cannot believe we got back on that. Normally you fall off. Alright, I think that's the worst Oh, is over. Oh, wait, nope, there's another blue coin. There's always a bigger fish. I love Legos. I just don't know why they're all obsessed. Like, oh my gosh! The Lego bird has hatched. This is the greatest day of all days. I'm gonna assume that there are no more blue coins here. Didn't see any of the blue coins, so there we go. Cool! Second worst mission is done. I can't believe we first tried the tough part of that. Which is navigating him when he goes sideways. That wasn't so- No, that was hard! That is definitely difficult. I just was able to do it. Gelato Beach, Episode 5. Oh, yes, yeah, second Piantissimo Sand Sprint. Which is why I did not slide into the red coin. Alright, second Piantissimo. Where's the first Piantissimo? Once we work up a sweat, let's jump in the ocean! That's why I said it was the second worst part. Oh, lots of red cataquacks. Do you all have red coins? Or, oh, sorry, blue coins? No, you don't. This guy's weird. I am second Piantissimo, and now we shall race to that flag! This guy is very weird. I don't know why he's in the game. He just is. And he appears a lot. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Easy. <laughs> Everyone's playing music for me! Being healthy is what matters most! I don't know if that's true. It is important. Huh? You saying that any path's okay as long as you find the goal? Duh. Second Piantissimo has been turning up all over lately! Really? <laughs> you are pretty good! You have some speed! You'll have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again, and goodbye. He's not too hard. Also, apparently, underneath his weird Pianta mask is the face of the mailman from Zelda. <laughs> yeah, if you lose to second Piantissimo, he kills you. Because, of course he does. Man, my emulator cannot properly render just the fade-out screen. That's ridiculous. Let's just keep going to Gelato, man. 
Gelato Beach, episode 6. Oh, yes, red coins in the coral reef. This one kind of stinks, just because the underwater controls are so bad. Red coins in the coral reef. Did you know there's a coral reef on this stage? You didn't? That's because there's no reason to ever go there outside of this mission. Alright, I hope that there's Turbo Nozzle in this mission. I also hope there's Yoshi in this mission. <laughs> Maybe I'll just buy a small bird. There's a sponge and a beehive. Surely there must be a Yoshi on this level somewhere. And he probably wants coconut, because that's like the only fruit on the level. There's another sponge over here. Oh wait, no there's not. Oh. Is this the best level in Gelato to get 100 coins? Oh, yes! That's what I'm looking for! Mario. I know how to use Turbo Nozzle. I wish Turbo Nozzle got used for more. Oh, Yoshi's over here. He wants a pineapple. Trying to remember where there's a pineapple on this level. Maybe it's in a crate by, like, the shack? Oh, there it is. Yoshi got good taste. Pineapple's delicious. Okay, like, hey, I want the pineapple. Well, you can't have it! It's mine! <laughs> I found it. I'm gonna use it. Yay, we get Yoshi on the level that's covered in water. Oh, I forgot he can turn Cataquax into blocks, because that doesn't make any sense at all. Don't get stunned by the- don't get stunned by the bees, eat the bees. You can knock the beehive down, there we go. There we go. Beehives usually have blue coins. Is there anything else to do with Yoshi in this level? Surf Cabana for a limited time. Only famous fruit juice smoothies. I like the idea of smoothies. I just don't really like them. Coral Reef? Yeah, it's that rocky spot out in the water. Yeah, to the left of the shop. That's it. I, ar I already disintegrated the sponge with the juice. Unless there was more than one, but I'm pretty sure there was only one. Yoshi wants to say hi. No, no! It's pretty to look at, but that place is dangerous! Hey, Ma! Can I go play on the coral reef? Probably was supposed to do that in a different order. Oh! Get wrecked, Cataquack. What the heck? I did not know Yoshi could eat Cataquacks.
Sorry, Yoshi. Okay. Oh, wait. Why did I get the hover nozzle again? No, I want turbo nozzle. I don't think I re-got the hover... Did riding Yoshi just re automatically revert me back to hover nozzle? That's very dumb. That's so stupid. <laughs> now, why would you go and do a thing like that? Well, Turbo Nozzle will definitely make this challenge more fun and easier. Yeah, like, th these fish here that swim with the red coin. That's also entirely possible to do. Oh, no. I hate how the fish can just phase through the rock. At random points. Go, should be one more around here. There we go. Beautiful. This one always takes you 10 to 20 minutes. Turbo Nozzle definitely helps. Means you can catch up to the stupid fish carrying the coins a lot easier. Shine! Nice job. Like, I like pretty much every mission on that level except the Sandbird. The rest are all pretty fun. I don't know why people hate this level. Gelato Beach, it's Shadow Mario! After him! With pleasure. There he is. I feel like if you were to speedrun this, learning the Shadow Mario fights would be the toughest part. <laughs> they seem so random. I don't know how to do that. Alright, that's enough of gelato for now. Let's head on back to Rico Harbor. Do, do, do. We are on, that's right, Gooper Blooper Returns. Go 
Blooper. Blooper is back because they can't come up with original bosses. Looks like that huge blooper fiend is over at the helipad now. Oh, he's taken to the heliport? I can't see anything from here. That's what you're angry about? Yeah, we already got you. Do 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 do. Okay, we gotta we gotta get up there and grab that blue coin. We got to. No, that is not. <sighs> Wait, there's a blue coin under here that I hadn't grabbed? Oh, weird voice, huh? Fine. Let me think of one. Hmm. <laughs> when in doubt, we'll do the Winnie the Pooh voice. <laughs> oh, bother. This stupid blue coin is way too high up. <laughs> You know, Piglet, it sure would help if we had the rocket nozzle. But for some reason, the rocket nozzles have been turned off on this level, even though I have them unlocked. Now that's just not very good design, now is it? It's a rather blustery day. <laughs> All of the wind is trying to kill me. I really wish I knew how I made him go back. Oh, look at that! The rocket nozzle is here after all. It's... Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. I don't need to save every time I get a new nozzle. Piglet. Is that just regular? Co that's just regular coins. No need to bother with that one. Must say, I don't, I don't remember this section of the level at all. <laughs> oh, bother. Ah, oh, at last, yes. Just ignore the wind, and here we go. <laughs> well, that's what. Oh, we're nearing 100 coins now. Oh, there we go. I've been waiting to get that coin for a while now. <laughs> oh, the fish in the sea. I see that M up here. I'm away! 96 coins. How many coins do we have in Rico Harbor at this point? Uh, 22. So we're missing uh, 8 then. That's not a bad number. Because I know some of them are only in the Yoshi Fruit Adventure. There's some blue coins around in this harbor area that I've forgotten about. Why? There's still oil in the ocean? Bruh. I thought we, I thought we talked about this. Apparently not. Uh. 
Spray the basket of fish? What basket of fish? I don't know how much lag there is on your end, so... It might only be in Episode 8. I, I don't see any basket of fish around here. Hello! <laughs> it's been a while. Well, whoops. I go a little too soon. Wait, I can go under the platform? Oh, man. They should have made you utilize that in this second fight. They could have made it slightly different. There we go. Same way you beat him the first time. And he falls... Wow, he phased through the, the bottom. Wow. That's impressive. Gooper Blooper just doesn't know when to quit. Yahoo! Nicely done, Mario. We're almost at 50 shines.